from the city, the city is still. I'm from the city, the city is still. Hey guys, welcome to Pittsburgh. This is Anthony, and today we are at Kells Sports Cards in Bridgeville, Pennsylvania. I personally think Kells has some of the best bargain bins in the entire city. So we just shipped out a, another bulk CSG order, which was the third bulk order of the month. And I'm running kind of low on gradable cards. So we're gonna run in here and see what we can find. All right, guys, so let's do this. Let's hop into Kell's, one of my favorite shops in the area. Let's look into some singles here, guys. Kell always has some fire singles and he always sells stuff cheap, guys. Like his bargain bins are amazing because he's always buying and selling stuff. So being that he's buying so much, he doesn't really have time to, you know, put everything out. So he'll throw a lot of it in his bargain bins for one and three dollars. So you can find some super great values just digging through his stuff. But as you can see, he's got some absolute heat as far as singles go. Got some great cards. And you know your boy's about to check out them Power Ranger cards just sitting there. Why would I not? Got some Shaq right there, some Akeem, some Bird. Um, guys, he has some straight fire at his shop. If you're in the Bridgeville area, stop in and tell him Pittsburgh sent you. Did you find anything yet? Look at that. Nice. I don't know that. I need that. I need those eyes for the corner where I definitely get it. It's my bad, guys, about that shoddy camera work where you can barely see the card that Marty wanted me to check out. Uh, unfortunately, I don't even remember what it was. I think one day I'm gonna get a Lemieux and a Crosby rookie. Nice. Probably no, and a Clemente rookie, just no time soon, because they're expensive. So I'd be curious to know, guys, are there any cards that you deem to be sort of unattainable right now that you really want for your PC, kind of like I want with Crosby, Lemieux, and Clemente? Leave it down in the comments and let me know. Nice, Ric Flair Auto. Did you see that, Mark? What's that? The Ric Flair Auto. No. That's sick. Oh, that's badass. That's nasty. Ooh, the Kobe Apprentice. Kobe Auto. Warning, guys, there is an immense amount of heat in this case. Ooh, that jaw auto is sick, too. If you're a fan of modern basketball, Kel has an excellent selection of stuff that's not only graded, he has a raw card selection as well. Dude, there's a Tatum Auto, Marty. My language. And a Dirk one. What's that? And a Dirk Nowitzki. This is definitely my favorite case, but then again, I'm a huge, huge, huge basketball collector. So many awesome things in there. There's Zions for days. What are you doing right now with the stuff that you did? Did you grade? Is it a holding pattern or are you sending it to BGS? Uh, I mean, dude, at this point, you can't send cards to BGS. Why is that? I mean, I think VGS has the best holder. I think they offer the best service, but like the market says their cards don't sell anymore, so what are you gonna do? Well, I mean, everybody wants that. Let's call it what it is. Nine five's a great number. You see the tens and you're like, Easy. Yeah, but dude, most VGS tens are doing what less than PSA tens right now. It's insane. I had a the pristine uh, gold chrome Ronald Rookie. Went way under the PSA 10 little from agreement. So one of my favorite parts about going to Kells, outside of the amazing cards, check out, there's a Jim Brown card right there. That thing is sick. One day I will own that as well. But, you know, one of my favorite things is he provides awesome hobby talk. It's like every time you're in there, like, you know what I mean? You get the latest and the greatest. You get it from a shop owner perspective. It's amazing, guys. I actually spoke to Kel and I talked to him about possibly coming on the channel for an interview. He is a wealth of knowledge, guys. I cannot wait to share this guy with you. If you have an opportunity, seriously, go check out his shop. He's one of the coolest guys you'll meet in the hobby. The nice thing I like about BGS is they have the penny sleeve too. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. They don't remove them. Like... Yep. So essentially what we're talking about now is reasons why we like BGS and why we think they should be a little bit more valuable in the hobby. All right, guys, now this is where you can really make some money on some singles, digging through these bins. The worst thing no, is to, uh, is that a rookie? The HGA or whatever. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's like, hey, we're gonna let 
a select number of people do five whole cars. I know. It's like, <laughs> that is not a response to today's market. Yep. I'm saying I'm thousands of cards in there about. I'm not interested in your five cards that you'll miss very Exactly. <laughs> We finally just got in with them uh, on Friday for the first time after like two months of trying. I mean, they do have a nice holder. Yeah. And since they take in so few, the first few cards like, are probably in the cell. I would yeah. send in like oddball stuff with them, like send in some of the dumb bastards you bought last week, you know? <laughs> stuff like that, I feel like. Yes. Do Send me all the Sean Kemp's. So last week when I was here, I cleared him out of all Cleveland Sean Kemp's. What do you think of Rui, man? Is he still a pickup? I am in a complete holding pattern on him. What do you guys think of Rui? I drew him on him. Nice. Hey, does that you want me to pull that? Yeah, hold on, dude. Just I know how you like the autos. Not that I'm a huge Tiger on collector or anything. I'm just blasphemous. Great thing was that day I picked up the Ty Jerome card, the card actually went up in value, so that was pretty huge. I was happy to see that. I want to say he put up 15 points that night, plus he got a little increased minutes. Oh, you know you want this numbered Wally Zerby act, right. rookie. Been thinking about it a lot lately. We always enjoy talking about oddball players from our youth. I wonder if any of you guys ever do that with your friends in the hobby, talk about players you grew up watching and you know jag each other. The Darius Miles. Everybody He's famous. Isn't he the one famous for saying the Cavs don't need LeBron? I don't think you can really just bring a high school player in and really just think your team gonna really turn around like that. I want to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out that was a uh, pretty bad state. That'd be a decent time in basketball. I got hit pretty hard the last week. Gotcha. Everybody flips that stuff. Yeah. Still definitely a lot of new stuff in here. Should have. Prison blade come relatively soon, I would think, with the retail. Nice. That's pretty hot. These bargain bins most definitely never disappoint, guys. I see. It blows my mind how expensive LaMelo Ball is because, uh, like, honestly, I, like, I think John Morant's a far superior player. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But, like, when his cards are going for more than Zylons, it just blows my mind. I know. I had a Revolution May start out of this collection I just bought, and I was like, oh, that's probably a couple bucks. I just looked it up real quick, and it's $100. <laughs> I was like, what? Why did I throw that up? <laughs> if you would have, and I saw it today, I'd have been okay with that, just to let you know. <laughs> let me know, you Team Ja or Team LaMelo? I like them both. I think they're both long-term great holds. I think they're both going to be all-star caliber players. But personally, I like Jaw a little bit more. I'm kind of on Marty's wavelength there, but I love LaMelo too. Man, there's some Bethany here. Nice. Sweet. Nice. Let's go buy at that price. Those were a few different base variants of the LaMelo Ball Prism Draft Pick card. And LaMelo Ball stuff is hot, as you guys know, plus Prism Draft Pick stuff grades really well as well. So it's always something I look for. But guys, I really appreciate you watching this vlog. Until the next video, may God bless you, and I hope that you take it easy.